Jetta James Bond 25 Daniel Craig will only make one more movie Martin Campbell helmed two of the most highly regarded 007 outings of the modern era. The director freely admits that Barbara Broccoli and her team are always trying to get him to come back and make more. Even though he has already directed Craig in his first outing as the secret agent in 2006's Casino Royale, the Kiwi director admitted he is not interested in repeating the experience. Casino Royale was a major box office hit and managed to please fans and critics, as well as successfully establishing a new age of the British spy on screen. So, what is Robinson's problem with his leading man? Robinson explained why in a new interview with Cinema Blend. He explained that he turned down the chance to direct the follow-up to GoldenEye for one important reason. He said I don't know if it was sort of arrogance or whatever I don't know. I just sort of said no to it. I was pretty much offered every one after that. But I just felt that I was repeated it. Another control room to blow up another nutcase taking over the world. And also there is something refreshing about starting a new bond, and particularly with Pierce Brosnan. It was sort of a Cold War sort of situation then, and we had Judy Dench for the first time. So there was a kind of excitement to doing it. James Bond beauty sexiest XRATED scenes and pictureish applied the same reasoning to not wanting to make any more films with Brosnan's successor. Robinson said Casino Royale was the same thing. Much the same reasons, actually. So, would he be tempted to return to the franchise after Craig has stepped down, and what does he really think of the departing actor's time in the role? Robinson said I might be, so never say never, yeah I would consider returning. I think Daniel is terrific, first of all has a terrific actor, but secondly he brings that sort of toughness and rough edge to Bond that is now so relevant. He even worked a cheeky Bond film title into his response. Let's hope Robinson returns in style soon. Read the full interview at Cineblend.